I call this meeting of the arrogant and judgmental to order. Um, today another tragedy struck. Uh, tomorrow there's sure to be another. Um, this one just happened to be in my neighborhood. <clears throat> and how dare I wait until something happens in my neighborhood to fucking talk about it. Um, but, um, I don't know, when something hits you right in the face, it's like, oh, alright, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that. Um, I'm a little foggy, uh, my tongue's kind of numb, I'm kind of out of it. I don't know if you can see, but I had some spinal cord injections yesterday, um, and so my brain is floating in my head, as per usual for normal people. Um, but what I wanted to talk about, uh, was kind of, um, uh, in my town today, um, this morning, pretty early, um, two police officers were gunned down, um, one was shot in his police patrol car, and then the responding officer, um, upon receiving the call was shot as well, uh, both are dead. Um, the suspect was apprehended shortly, uh, like, sh short of an hour ago, maybe. Um, white guy. Uh, and, you know, a police officer's death is no better or worse, obviously, than, uh, a child's death. A, um black person's death and Asian person's death, um, anybody's death, um, the problem I'm having is that, uh, people are justifying it. Uh, and my first thought was like, yeah, this is what, this is what life will be like. This is what our world will be like if Trump is president, uh, if Hillary is president. Uh, what does it say that those are our two fucking candidates for presidency? Um, but my daughter reminded me that fucking, this is what our world is like. There's no what it will be like. This is what it is like. Um, you know, people's hatred and vengeance and vendettas and preconceived notions and, I mean, <sighs> violent tendencies and act actions before thought. Uh, I'm not really a good person to speak about that because I'm incredibly impulsive, but I've never, like, had the impulse to go hurt someone in my life. I've never, ever wanted to hurt anyone. Um, I wanted people to feel the same pain they've inflicted on me, but not for me to inflict that pain. Um, and I can't imagine other people doing it. Um, what I did today was I woke up in pain, physical pain. It hurts to turn my neck, obviously, like physical pain. And then it moved on, progressed to fucking a different kind of pain, um, a mourning, uh, a mourning of humanity, the death of humanity, where people value their own lives above other people's lives. And they think that they're entitled to some sort of, um, well, you know what? Entitled to anything. Where people think they're entitled to anything. What I really hate about our country is the, um, the division. Uh, there's no unity of people. Our race has been divided. I, and I don't mean the color of your skin. I obviously mean the human race has been divided. And I'd like to blame someone, but it's our own faults that we're divided because of our stereotypes, our preconceived notions, um, everything about us, uh, is bringing us to this point where we're hurting each other, uh, with words, with bricks and stones and whatever we can to throw at each other. And that's not my world. My world, people care about each other. Um, people care what happens to other people. Um, you know, violent acts aren't necessarily solved with other violent acts. And, uh, that's the world that I'm going to choose to live in. That's the world I'm going to teach my children to live in. Those are the people that I'm going to surround myself with. 
and um, nothing is going to change my world. Um, I don't give a fuck who you vote for, because Trump's not going to be president no matter what happens. But um, I don't even give a fuck if you vote. What I fucking care about is that you look at the person sitting next to you the next time you're sitting next to someone and look at them as a person and care about them. I care that you fucking care about them. Know that that person matters just as much as you. Know that you matter. And life isn't worth it without you. And life isn't worth it without them. And I hope that with the death of humanity, we can... Uh, it can be reborn, and I hope that we're the generation, generation X and the millennials, I hope that we're the generation that creates unity and stops the division of our race, because I'm over it. Life is not worth it without you. Life is not worth it without me. I am no better than you, and you are no better than me. There is nobody, nobody that should be sacrificed for somebody else. Um, I believe in my heart of hearts that people are inherently good and those are the people that I want to live for and that's all I got.